Ah, good morning guys at home. My name is Brad, I'm one of the keepers of marine. We're here, the sun's just coming up and we're about to start preparing food for all of our marine animals here at Taronga Zoo. Come on in. All right, so this is where we store all of our food. Uh, we just take a check on temperatures every time we pass by. Um, and yeah, the food slowly thawed over the uh, last night, ready for use today. So we're gonna move it out into our fish kitchen for prep. So we're gonna move all this into our kitchen and uh, break it out into the sinks as per species of fish and then divvy it out for the animals. All right, so what the guys are up to now is just separating the fish species into different sinks. Um, it's partially thawed through the cool room process, uh, but we'll give it a quick rinse in a salt freshwater mix, um, and then it's weighed out to each individual animal's requirements. So each day we're handling anywhere between 80 to 100 kilos of seafood. Uh, so marine mammal keepers generally can clear a room pretty easily after a day's worth of work um, handling that much seafood. We tend to smell the same at the end of the day. So each of our seals has their own buckets, um, obviously named, so we know who's is who's throughout the day. And at this point, normally our keepers divide into one preparing food for our birds, and the other looks after all of our marine mammals. All right, so at the moment, Michelle's just kind of breaking up the remainder of the, the boxes of fish. Um, we give it a quick rinse, just to rinse off any icy bits, um, drain it out, and then we, we weigh it out. So we keep the different fish species separate because uh, the fish species all have different nutritional values um, and depending on the seal species uh, will differ how much they get of each species of uh, particular fish. So with all of the food that we feed out our animals, um, marine tends to be one of the more expensive sections to feed. So the fish that you see um, is all suitable for human consumption. So uh, if we would need it, we don't give it to our animals essentially. We worked out that each of our seal species actually have different nutritional requirements and by analyzing the fish species and also understanding what each seal species needs um, and the actual species that give them the fats and proteins that they really require day to day. So on the board with all of our animals, we've got our different seal species. So these are all of our Australian sea lions. Um, their diets are worked out in uh, conjunction with the keepers and the nutrition team. And you can see that there's a various amount of weights uh, of food. So at the moment, our largest seal is eating up to 10 kilos, one of our California sea lions, and then down to two kilos for one of our little fur seals. Um, we can modify their, their diets um, frequently throughout the year, and that's just because it changes. The sea lions in particular, uh, coming into winter, are gonna start eating more and more to increase body fat. And uh, so we can expect during the summer months when they don't require as much body fat, they eat less. Uh, so some of our bigger males in the summer period might eat as low as four or five kilos on a daily basis, and in winter up to 15 or 16 kilos. So the variation's huge throughout the year. So we're constantly adjusting the diets accordingly. And we take into account too that uh, the different sizes of the seals and the different sizes of the fish species. So obviously smaller seals tend to get the smaller fish species. And then we've got some that just are a bit fussy and choose which ones they do and don't want to eat. So we modify their diet accordingly. All right, so uh, at any given point of the year, we have a, a variety of fish species. Um, we try to operate seasonally. Um, 
We try to buy locally where we can uh, to reduce transport and obviously support local. Uh, so it changes all throughout the year what, what we get in. Um, and that also creates great variety for our animals. Uh, so today on the menu, we've got some yellowtail. Um, this is a, a great fish, most of the seals love it. Um, in terms of nutritional value, it's just a bit of a filler. So um, the other species that we have here are their base diets, and this makes up the rest of it. Um, we do have a souri, so this, this is actually an imported fish. Um, and this is to cater for the requirements of our California sea lions. And mm. then we have some mackerel. So, thanks Michelle. Uh, these are again an, another big favourite and um, these are really required for um, our local species. So, the New Zealand fur seals and Australian sea lions in particular love these. So, and then moving down to the birds, uh, we feed out pilchards. And obviously the penguins that we work with, we work with little penguins and the pilchards come in all sorts of sizes and these are pretty big. So um, Joe at the moment sorting out through our pilchards, the bigger ones will actually go to the seals and uh, the smaller ones will get separated out for the little penguins feeds for the day. So and on top of the little penguins, we also have our Fjordland penguins and our Australian pelicans that Joe will be preparing diets for. All right, so what Joe is doing here is actually preparing the vitamins for our birds. So it's really simple for us to give vitamins or any medication to our animals because it's a matter of just sliding it under the gills of the fish. The animals are none the wiser. And these tablets are specially designed for marine birds. Um, and the reason we have to supplement vitamins, and just likewise for the seals, these tablets are specialized for marine mammals. Um, in the freezing process, you lose certain um, vitamins. And so these are purely just a supplement for those vitamins lost in the freezing process. So uh, as I said, they're developed spe specifically for those animals to ensure that they have the best possible health. All right, so uh, food's pretty much done for the day. Uh, we're gonna deliver this around section and then get to feeding time. All right, well, we're here in our penguin exhibit. It's time for feed. So we're gonna start with our Fjordland crested penguins and then feed our little penguins. Three. for watching Turonga TV and Charlie enjoying his delicious breakfast we prepared earlier. Remember when you're enjoying your own seafood, look out for the MSC Blue Fish Tick to ensure that you're purchasing a sustainable product, ensuring that Charlie here, well, he's got a future. Keep watching Turonga TV to see more that's happening around Turonga Zoo. <laughs>